Hello everyone and welcome to this new programming episode from Code Pickles. In this video, we'll be giving an introduction to the .NET Entity Framework Object Relational Mapper and making a super fast demo to connect to an existing SQL Server database. So, in this video, we'll be introducing the Entity Framework, which is the Object Relational Mapper of .NET Core. We'll demonstrate how to connect to an existing SQL Server database and we'll query the database using the link queue to entities. As prerequisites to this video, you need the basic knowledge of object manipulation in C Sharp. Familiarity with a relational database management system is not a must. As for the dependency injection, it is necessary while making ASP.NET Core web applications, but not in this demo, as we'll be demonstrating with the console application. Before the ORM approach, in order to manipulate data in a database, we needed to send SQL queries that are processed by the database management system. While in these frameworks, we just need to manipulate objects and the object relational framework generates the SQL queries for us. In EF Core, there are two approaches to link our code with the database. There is the database first approach in which we connect to an existing database that has an existing schema and data. In this case, the domain class entities are generated based on the database schema. And there's the code first approach in which there's no existing database and where the tables are generated from the domain class entities we create in our code. In this video, we'll demonstrate with the DB first approach while in the upcoming videos, we'll be using the code first approach to demonstrate other topics. So using the entity framework core, we can connect to different database management systems using EF core providers. Such providers help us to connect to SQL server database, MySQL database, Postgres database, and other database management systems. As you can see here, the EF core handles mainly SQL relational database and do not handle no SQL database systems such as MongoDB. In other videos, we'll be doing a demo to connect to a MongoDB database. So let's go now to the VS Code and create a console application and start developing with the EF Core. Let's create a new console application using the .NET CLI. .NET new console minus o demo dot console app this application needs some dependencies that we need to download from the nugget control shift p i'll be using the nugget gallery here to download the dependencies we'll need the microsoft dot Entity Framework Core We need to install the version 5.0 as I'm using the .NET 5 We'll download the Entity Framework Core SQL Server And the Framework Core Tools We'll be using as well the system.link queue. We go back to the CS proj to see if all the dependencies have been installed. Now we go to the SQL Server Management Studio to check the databases. We'll be connecting our project to this SQL Server Database, UA Students PPA, that has two tables, students and categories, and has a relationship between the two tables. In the .NET CLI, we'll scaffold the domain class models and entities in our project based on the existing schema of the database. We'll be using the command scaffold DB and giving it the connection string. We'll go to the project folder, And then we'll put the command. As you can see here, 
we scaffold and give the connection string as parameter and we output the classes in uh, the folder models so we can see here in the folder models that three classes have been created the student class the category class and the context that helps to connect with the db let's insert a new category in the database we go to the program.cs and we'll be adding the using demo.consoleapp.models we will create an instance of the context to a student's context mydb equals new and create a new instance of a category let's say category cat equals new category we give it a description let's see in the database the categories there are three categories let's add the music category okay description equals music okay now we add it to the categories dot add the category and we save the changes let's build and run the project dot net build so there was an error in models okay let's rebuild it net build Okay, but net run. Now a new category, music, should be added to the database. Let's rerun the query here and we can see that the new category music has been added. So in this video, we scaffolded the existing SQL server database schema into our c -sharp project and inserted a new record for category into the database to demonstrate that the connection was successfully made. Thanks for watching guys and see you soon.